Yeah. Buffalo City Blues, Buff City, Al City, Knuckle City, Slum Town. I grew up here in the city streets. I basically, I used to ricochet off these pillars growing up as an adolescent. Not pretty sure where a person really belongs. Trying to find culture within culture within the inner city culture. Most of myself and my peers found ourselves digging deep within ourselves just to be able to adjust to the bright lights of a city like such. <laughs> it sounds poetic when it comes from an artist, but in all simplicity, we're talking about our social ills weren't enough to affect us in such a manner where we don't take failure and build on top of that through that. I'm a 1987 baby. Most of us are very conscious conscious of our surroundings, sensitive of our surroundings. I grew up in an era where hip hop was 90s. <laughs> and that's the 90s era we're talking about, straight up rebellious black consciousness movements, whether it's coming from a gangster related situation, or whether it's coming from a straight textbook, me versus you situation, black and white. Southern was a different era as well. Pro-American gangs, Cats will call themselves Vatos, 26, 28 gangs. I mean, this is typical South African living, wouldn't it be? But nonetheless, we'll move straight from this, straight from the 90s, <laughs> straight into the 2000s. Now we're talking to grown men of age 30 and 32. Dug deep within ourselves and hid ourselves. Embarked greater through the music. This whole documentary that I'm trying to put together is just to explain the man within the man. I'm trying not to bore you with, I went to prison and I came out. I used to fight in these streets. I'm not really trying to go that way. But what I would like you guys to understand through this is exactly what we do and how we build our independence from amongst each other. What I'm trying to say is that blank consciousness movement that we're about comes out in our music. Music to heal with music to build with. 
this landing is there for me. Hopefully you guys will get a little breakdown in detail into how the texture comes out and why we have to sing souls with so much soul and pain and how pain can really show light. I want to show you the Islamic way of doing it. I want to show you how Slam City built this way. My heart and soul is from the ghetto Struggle sent so far from here In my dreams I see the rhythm And that's what you'll find from here My heart and soul is from the ghetto and so far from here In my dreams I see the rhythm And that's what you'll find What you want, that real? Oh, you want the real? And a mess of pill, no sex appeal. Oh, you must appeal. And the dogs run in, what a mess you win. Where do you reside? When the heads collide, motherfuck your pride. You're the devil's bride. Now, find myself in an occupation venture. Too deep in the hood, you'll find me. Drowning deep in a bottle that mixed beside me. Pressure don't remind me. Time feels like a virtual occupation. PlayStation's rent. Uh, Vinny Mac. Wrong man. One of the best uh, songwriters I know. Well, one of the best in East London for sure. I uh, met Vinnie Mac. I think I first saw Vinnie Mac at a, at a high school thing, a talent show in Hudson Park. Um, he did a he did a, a piece there, and I was like, wow. We went there to watch some dancing stuff, but yeah. So that was the first time I saw Vinnie noticeably, and. Um, until we started chilling right about 2000s, 2007, 2008 in Southern Hood. Um, nothing much about music, but just circles coming together. And then later on finding out uh, the same musical interest and stuff. So, Umchita says, I know what about. Until like some, sometime around 2012. When we hit me up with some stuff like Buffalo City Blues, and I was like, wow, man. From raps to blues, that was a crazy one. But anyway, fast forward to 2015, 16, end of 2016. Um, Vinnie Mac rocks up at the hot box. Uh, just had a beat from Inner Soul that day. And that later became a song called Dime Piece. And that's how me and Vinnie Max started working on Zone Entry Kaleidoscope. Um, now, beyond that, Colors in the Dark, amazing project. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a Buff City, Buffalo City Blues, actually. Um, it's, it's a cry on how things are hard uh, to artists in this region and the lack of industry and how my mans did the recording of at the same time as the show. That was, I feel like that's creative and innovative and, and um, bridging a lot of red tapes. Um, so yeah, man, what can I say? But I, I don't know most of the things he does, but I mean, why he doesn't? But that's a grown man right there. Good skin, pretty eyes, no listen. Thick thighs, bright smiles reminiscing in my back room. Blue moon so smooth I was consumed. Cause we all want a piece of you. Candy coated, ass fat, smash that, leave me high and dry. Swiss 16, love packs, financial benefactors. Court dates reassumed have been my grandma pastor. I say they all want a piece of you, will and drive.
up there, drinking plays up there, cold, I can fill it up, babe. Cold man, different beer, cocaine, so In the city soul, the inner city, from the core. Man, I've been asked that question so many times I've heard that. What is the inner city? What is the inner city soul? What is Buffalo City Blues? I decided to call my brand inner city soul simply because of the fact that all the sounds we hear, all the echoes in the inner city play in our heads and the music that we make can only be inner city stories. I could never tell you a story from anywhere else but the inner city. I know nothing about Ilali. I'm not a farm boy. I'm your typical city boy. Grew up depressed, anti-depressed myself with a brown bottle of liquor. Chilling with your boys on a rooftop with a little boombox, playing your old Miles Davis. Some of us were softer, we'd go Barry White. You know? Tupac and speak about stories for days. Step away from Tupac and come all the way back home and make our own stuff. We learned how to freestyle, how to graph art to all the cats around us who used to graph art. I can't really think past that. Nowadays, we find that people who can afford paints to graph for cats who come from a better background. And I'm not saying that none of us come from good or bad backgrounds. What I'm trying to say is that money starts counting more these days, more than it did back then. Inner city soul is a compact situation. It's a painful situation. There's a lot of color and light there as well. I started fusing my hip hop and my blues. <laughs> and I'm talking about hip hop that I thought was the real stuff. I thought my hip hop was the real stuff. And when I heard the next man doing the same thing and better from his perspective, I felt like, man, I have to sit down and appreciate this, not challenge it. So what I'm trying to say is that inner city soul for me is not that aggressive. It's more fluetic, you know? I'm talking about, I could connect my inner city soul from East London with your Gauteng or your GP or Jobe or your PTA or your PE right next door. Inner city kids tend to click better, you know? We tend to take something that was already there and dress it up a little bit or perhaps even break it down and own the place and rebuild it. I started this off with a friend of mine Rigby Torrente, I'm talking about way back when I was in high school. Um, Rigby was a whole band, he had his own studio. Well off kid. I'm from the other side, I'm from over the bridge. I'm from over the railway, <laughs> you know? This is a white boy, this is an Italian Jewish white boy. And it always happens like this. But this guy plays your guitars, he plays your strings, man. He plays your pianos. He's all up, like he's all up in the sound. And this guy doesn't leave his room. And all that he listens to is the echoes of the music that he's creating. To such an extent that even the artwork that he paints is so abstract. And that connects with him. I'm talking about a white boy who's Jewish. I'm talking about a white boy who's Italian. Connecting with an inner city kid from Southern. What helped us connect? What allowed us to connect? It's quite simple. It's truly quite simple. See, me coming from a background of Tossas and Zulus, when we sing and when we hum and when we listen to each other's harmonies, when we harmonize without even practicing the song, when we're able to click with each other, it's because of how we really communicate is through all these echoes. You see, we have breaks in between our songs and that's where the soul lives. We're not trying to rush it with a whole lot of lyrics and being all about it, but sometimes lyrics can get you twisted. I fell in love with soul simply because of the fact that guys weren't afraid to be naked and raw with you. People weren't afraid to be abstract, and people like us today aren't afraid to be different. And at the very same time, the best way for us to communicate anything without hurting you or without chasing you away is via the soul. I call it inner city soul simply for that reason. Like I did say before, I don't want to come across to a gangster. You know? I did grow up around a lot of alcoholics. I grew up in Southernwood at the bottom of the place where alcohol was a natural situation for us. If it wasn't alcohol, it would be the box. But we all connected via music. And that's where I live. That's the inner city soul for me. A fusion of that and a fusion of all the different suburbs. A fusion of Amelinda and a fusion of West Bank. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm simply trying to say that instead of us beefing, and I'm speaking mostly from the black mind, because you see, 
gang wars this side were never really black on black situations. It was always about turf and owning the cash flow. We had a way of moving in and out of this, in and out of the inner city via the music. There is no person from the 80s who has no idea what solar funk is. There's no way that they can't connect to the hip hop. There's no way that we can't connect the whole thing. This is where I live. That's that inner city soul. I truly can't tell you another story. It would truly be a bore to act as if the intellect doesn't come out, as if the wisdom is not caught in the air. I would truly be lying if I was to say that the inner city didn't teach me everything that I know today. Libraries taught me way more than schools did. Hip hop taught me way more than libraries could read at. You could throw words at anybody, but through that music it goes straight to the soul. You listen to the gaps and the silence. You listen to the hurt, you listen to the pain, straight from the heart. Inner City Soul for me is exactly that. I created a song called Buffalo City Blues simply for that factor. Buffalo City Blues has no lyrics. We're talking about repeating the same thing. Buffalo City Blues, yeah. beat me black and blue, man. Mm -hmm. We repeat that throughout the whole song, and the harmonies do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the money talk. Buffalo City Blues, yeah. Pick me black and blue, huh? I ain't got no money. Ah, ah, ah. Repetition for a whole 12 minutes. But I promise you, every individual who's looking or listening to that painting, that piece of art, painting in words and painting in all those characters and all those sounds, is hearing a totally different story from the man next to him and the man next to him and the woman next to them. Yeah, we all listen to the exact same song all feeling the exact same way. The unison is built by that, being naked with your emotions, being naked with your experiences. You can't hide away from who you are. That's that inner city soul. I don't think there's much more I could say. Standing at the top of Skyview rooftop with a beer bottle in my hand, singing at the world, howling at the moon. That was our way of living back then. When we came down here, we felt like gods. We moved wherever we wanted to move. And our only way of communicating and not getting fisty and bloody was through that music. After that, we back home and back at it talking about, yo, did you hear that guy's vocals? Man, that dude raps like he boxes like that. Knuckle City. That's that Buffalo City Blues. spend time with him, you get to know that in as much as he's seen so much, he's still a man that's landing, you know, as we all are doing. Buffalo City Blues, what can one say? That's the feeling there. That's the communication of the bigger picture. That's Vinnie Mac saying, hey, look, I'm from this area. I was battered here. I grew up here. I'm made of the streets. I represent the streets. I do it for all the people around this area. But it's all in his art. So over time, Vinny, in his struggles, his joys, his anguish, his pain, 
It was beautiful times. He ended up coming with a concept, Buffalo City Blues, which is actually one of his title tracks. But it actually encompasses everything that he stands for. It's all there in the music, man. It's not a lifestyle as everybody says lifestyle now. But it's more of what he knows, what he's done, what he's yet to achieve. What can one say? Colors in the dark. It's a beautiful concept. Colors in the dark is a series of shows that we hold in various locations. We're basically creating platforms and places where shows haven't been held before, where masterpieces haven't been presented to an audience that actually appreciates it before. Trying to avoid the whole club scene of following each other, follow the leader, let's all meet up at one place and drink ourselves to a pulp and believe that we really feel this music or following of posters and the main names on the poster. I'm trying to separate connoisseurs of music from those who just tag along and just want to have fun. I feel like we have a culture and it's something that we don't have much control over. I feel like we have a culture as people in general, worldwide, where we're given so much at the same time and we really haven't got time to really taste it and understand what you're eating or taking in. A culture of taking in and taking out. What we're trying to do with Colors in the Dark is create platforms in various places. Stay away from feeling as if you can't afford to play wherever you want to play. Let me make an example. Uh, the, the club scene is quite intense. The club scene is intense if you don't have perhaps 100,000 likes or 50 likes as in comparison to the next person who could have that just for showing off or twerking on screen. You and your band of six people are not going to play at that club for 500 people, 700 people. But the guy who has twerkers on his thing, on his Instagram or whatever you call it, doesn't really push music at all or anything close to his music. 100,000 followers, they get to play at the club. I'm trying to say that we find ourselves not being able to really share music the way that we should be able to share it. We also have a problem where we find that not all of us can afford PA systems. Now these are some costly situations where you need cameramen. The whole works, you need to really present the whole work as it is, the quality of the work as it is. You need to set up your stages, you know? And sometimes you just don't have the finance for that. But the concept of Colors in the Dark, it was basically us, four of us, all in all, working hand in hand with the amount of cash that we can make in a week or in a month. And with what we have putting together, example, for the first one, we did a live recording. We 
recorded seven tracks, we called it an EP. I won't disclose how much cash we used there, but it's definitely way less cash than how much it would have taken for me to go and hire out a club venue and then hire out sound system and then try to pull in people and have that hand to mouth situation where I'm just counting how many people are walking in the door. And oh, it's all about those tickets at the door. You find a whole lot of people who are here just to get drunk and jam and to take selfies, not really feel the music that you're trying to present. We're fighting two things here. We're basically trying to fight the whole thing where you feel like if you don't have cash, you can't create your own situation. I recorded an EP which sounded crisp. The little bit of money that we had, a sound engineer and a team of three other people, we were able to pull in 20 people, not trying to look for more than 20. I'm not trying to have 50 or 100 people and then try to fill up the dome next year. Our aim here was to look for connoisseurs and people who really will take that music and move with it. And wherever the music moves, they move with us. Our aim here was not to be disheartened by the fact that you don't have a budget of 50,000 rand, so therefore you may not present. Our aim here was so as not to depend on venues to be able to play and be told what you may or may not play. Our aim here was not to play at the same place again. To explore the Eastern Cape, to, 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 to explore Buffalo City itself. To be able to play at a park today, at a rooftop tomorrow, in my bedroom, with five people watching me. Something similar to Colors in the Dark. I'm trying to say that beating that system that's already in our heads, that's instilled in our heads that money equals this. For me, the whole concept of Colors in the Dark is that deep. It's as deep as putting together a community of 20 people to help you put the show together. 20 people who want to be there. 20 people who can be part of a live studio EP recording and not interrupted at all because they're so in tune with the sound that you're giving to them. I'm talking about a whole circle, a full circle of artistry. I'm talking about 20 or 15 people who allow you to usher them through this journey that you have created. When I say that music moves through us like wind through a whistle, that's the exact same situation that I'm dealing with here. I'm trying to have us breaking this whole thing. I want us to break this whole thing of feeling chained down by finance. I don't want us to believe in money and believe in the fact that if you don't have this, you can't do that. How do you know? I've seen guys who build studios, desks, soundproofing, using tires and burnt down tires from a freaking junkyard. Beautiful as F. I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> but what this really is about, colors in the dark, is the fact that there's a lot of color in the dark. You know? Out of a place like that, you really start appreciating texture. You start appreciating what you have. The little bit of light that glimmers, you can see different colors from that, as in comparison to the flashing bright lights that could blind you to an extent where you can hardly tell orange from yellow. I'm talking about black consciousness on another level, way beyond the color. Colors in the dark, for me, is a paradox. Looking at myself, the contrast between being hard and soft, you know, bearded man or not, dark skinned or light skinned, the paradox between, oh man, we don't really understand this guy. Damn, but that soul. That's what you want. You want a person to walk out of there being able to understand that anything is possible at any time. And the next time you go there, the next time I look at this guy, or look at the next guy, expect anything. We're looking for that inner power, and at the same time, we're trying to build something from grassroots levels. The series of Colors in the Dark is exactly that. It's a series. The last one we did was at an art gallery that was black owned. I take pride in that. I take pride in the black banking system that we're trying to start. We're trying to generate our own money. We're here expecting 20 people. We may have had a little more than 20 people. But every cent that went into that counted and they had a feast. A feast of music, a feast of good soul and energy. They walked away with something that they were never going to see again in the upcoming series. This is something that I'd like to see my brothers and sisters doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead of depending on an art gallery, we build our own art galleries in this manner and we move with it. The music should be moving. Colors in the Dark is that concept for me. And it's a concept that I really believe that we need to start utilizing, improving on. You know? 
artist for artist first and foremost. There's concepts in that manner where you find that you walk into a concert that was done, created, the concert that was built by artists that can house or host 1,500 people. The people who are selling food at the stores are artists. The people who are providing the sound are artists. The people who are ushering people in and out are artists. The concept is not lost though. You see, now we start eating off the product that we are creating. We start eating off our art in this manner. No one can start acting as the man, the puppeteer, on who may and who may not sing here, yeah, sing my praises or forget about it. We don't even stress about such things because you're creating your own world and your own venture. You're creating your own streamline. This concept of colors in the dark is basically trying to wake us up from the norm. Step away from the stresses. Create a whole new stress level. Where you found me And I'm on that heart 